right? These are how algebra tiles work. So if you have one small square, that's going to be one. Here we have a yellow one, that's also one. But one of these is positive, one of these is negative, and you always have to check the key to make sure. This one's going to be positive one, this one's going to be negative one. The variables are given to us as the long one. Now, it what we want to say is, well, if I take these and I put it next to it, it's going to, however many of these small ones equal the big ones, that gives us the numbers. But that's not how it works on these algebra tiles, because it's the variable means an x. So we'll say we don't know what it is. Well, on one problem, x could equal 2. Another problem, x equals 3. On fractions, yes, you compare the size, but on algebra tiles, you do not. So this one is going to be negative 1x. And up here, we're going to have a positive 1x. Now, you can have the ones in front of it. They're optional, just like the positive is optional. We don't have to say it's there. When we say we have a car, we don't have to specify there's one car or the fact that it's actually there. Down here, you have to have the negative because you don't walk around saying, I have a missing car. So the negative has to be there, but the one does not because, again, the one is always optional because we always said you wouldn't be saying you have it if you didn't have one. If you have two, then we'd always write down that's negative two because that's telling us how many that we have. We have more than one. 